today I wanted to talk to you about how my thoughts and opinions towards the wheat belly lifestyle have changed over the last two months of eating this way. So before I ever started eating this way, I made a video called Wheat Belly Experiment. It's basically just me telling you guys, hey, I heard of this new diet. It's something I'm going to try out and here's a little bit of information about it. And I have received some comments on that video that are a little bit negative and they've caused me to go back and watch that video and reflect on it and see, you know, if those comments were merited. And um, basically, they the comments were asking me to take the video down because it does portray Wheat Belly in such a negative light. But I am going to start off by saying I'm not going to remove that video because I think it's important to see the difference of how I was feeling before I started it versus now. And my opinions have changed a lot. And... I think when someone's considering a new lifestyle, it's important to see both sides, how someone felt before they did it versus how they're feeling during it and how their opinions have changed. So if you want to go back and see my opinions on the Wheat Belly lifestyle before I ever started it and before I read the books, you can go ahead and watch that, but I'll basically cover all of it here, so it's up to you. I will have it linked down below in case you're interested. But Basically, in that video, um, some of the information I had was wrong because I was undereducated about the diet, but since then I have, like I said, read the book. I've been learning a lot. I still have a lot more to learn. I know that, but I, you know, it's a process and I'm doing the best I can and it's something that I have really come to enjoy and love and it's something I'm going to keep doing for a long, long time. So I just thought I would share with you my opinions on it now, two months in. Before I started it, when I had read some information online and before I started eating this way, my number one thought was that it was going to be extremely hard to maintain. It felt really restrictive and overwhelming, and I honestly didn't know how anyone could maintain this sort of lifestyle for any amount of time because as someone who is a self-proclaimed carbs addict, I was like, what do you eat when you cut out grains? What do you eat? And I like the list for the things that you can eat, I felt like was rather small compared to the list of the things you're not allowed to eat. So I thought I would feel really restricted and I'm so pleasantly surprised to say that that is not the case at all. I am enjoying food much more. I don't feel deprived at all by what I've been eating and I just feel so much better eating this way. There's, you can find so many recipes and you don't have to give up sweets or chips or anything like that. You just have to make it so that it's compliant. And I honestly didn't know that going in. And so finding places like GourmetGirlCooks.com, which has a ton of amazing recipes that are Wheat Belly compliant, has been a blessing. And, um, you know, you can, you can have everything you want. You just have to make it your way so that it fits into this lifestyle. And so it hasn't been restrictive at all, which I'm so surprised by. And I'm really, really happy about um, because now... It is something that I feel like I could do long term, whereas before it was something that I thought would be really, really difficult to maintain, but it's not. So I'm really, really happy about that. And also, um, I felt like I would, I thought I would feel hungry all the time because carbs are very filling, bread and pasta and things like that. But upping my fat intake, my healthy fat intake, not only do I feel satisfied, but I don't have cravings like I did before. I don't binge eat like I used to. I used to have a really bad problem with binge eating at night and late night snacking, and that's just not the case anymore. And because of that high fat intake, I'm not constantly thinking about food and obsessed over food. And I just, it's become such like a a lesser part of my life. It's not something that I'm focused on all the time because I feel satisfied. My body is being nourished properly and um, I don't know. I'm just not craving those sweets anymore. Um, so that's been a really big surprise too that I'm very happy about because the binge eating and the late night eating is something that I've struggled with for so long to get away from. And so having this help me with that has just, it's been a blessing. And um, one of the other misconceptions I had about this lifestyle and this way of eating is when you first hear about the claims of this book, of this way of eating, you're like, no, that's way too good to be true well, because it claims to reduce anxiety and stress. It claims to cure diabetes. It claims to, um, you know, 
cure people of pain issues and just so many other things. The list goes on and on and you're like, no way. That's maybe for a few people, they'll be able to have their issues cured by this. And so one of the main things I went going in was I was testing out to see if it would help my anxiety. And I thought there's no way because I've struggled with anxiety and a panic disorder since I was 16 years old and I am now medicated for it. But it's still been a daily struggle, something that interrupts every day of my life. And I'm like, there's no way at all that not eating grains is going to <clears throat> improve my anxiety when I've found nothing else that helps. So <clears throat> that was one of the main things that I was testing out and I was super skeptical. I thought there was no way that that was going to help because how could eating grains affect your brain to that point where you're medicated for it? And I still am medicated for it, but I'm hoping to get off the medication soon because eating this way really does help me live like just a happier, easier life. The anxiety is still there, but it's way down. Like it's worlds apart in how I feel just on a day-to-day -day basis. And <clears throat> I'm so thankful for that. And I'm really glad that that has helped. Um, my skin is getting better. I don't have super dry, itchy skin like I used to. My hair is getting better. And there are just so many positive things that have come from this. And that's why a lot of people don't like calling it a diet. So that's something I need to work on because I always do call it a diet. But that's just because it's easier to say. Um, but it's, it's so much more than that. And that's really important to understand too. Because I thought I'd go into this and lose a little bit of weight and then you know, um, like a fad diet or something, it would be hard to maintain and so I'd fall off and gain all the weight back plus more. And that just hasn't been the case and I've been so presently, I've been so pleasantly surprised by all of the amazing changes. I feel like in two months to have something change your life so much is, it's crazy. I would have never thought, which is why, you know, that video is kind of negative because I'm very, very doubtful and um, skeptical, which I do, looking back, think that's a good thing because it shows, you know, how much a person can change over two months, how their thoughts can change, how their feelings towards something can change in such a short amount of time. And so I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys how my thoughts and opinions towards this lifestyle have changed because it's done so much for me. It's done amazing amazing things for my life in just two short months so if you have received this book for christmas or you're thinking about trying something new for new year's i highly recommend you do some research on this and try it give it a go it won't hurt you um if you hate it just stop doing it but i guarantee you will notice amazing beneficial changes and yeah i just wanted to let you know that my opinions have changed since that first video and i'm not going to take it down because i think it's you know a it's an important step in my journey to getting where I was, learning about this and being so skeptical and having misinformation. Um, you know, all that has changed and it's continuing to change as I learn more and more. And so I like looking back on that video and reflecting where I was then versus where I am now. And I know that that difference is just going to continue to grow. So that's all. I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you haven't already but would like to follow my weight loss journey, my wheat belly journey, whatever, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. If you found this video at all helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.